On this week's podcast, we have Executive Director of Buy Idaho, Inc., Jennifer Mock, and she has been championing Idaho's small business community ever since 2016 when she became a Buy Idaho uh, employee, really. <laughs> and her goal is to have all Idahoans think local first by supporting Idaho's robust and diverse products and service industry. Through special events, marketing, and group branding by Idaho has connected service providers and producers of the consumers for over 34 years. And in addition to by Idaho, Jennifer is also a licensed real estate agent and is board a board member of FAIR Idaho, F-A-R-E Idaho. And on top of that, she's also the president of the Downtown Boise Neighborhood Association. Her goal is to continue finding ways to support the growth and viability and sustainability of local communities while maintaining the unsurpassed quality of life Idaho has to offer. Jennifer earned a Bachelor of Science degree from Florida State University, and she spent eight years in Florida as a social service provider. A cross-country adventure landed her in Idaho, where she's happy to be raising her son and daughter. And Idaho's unsurpassed beauty and opportunity for adventure captivated her, and she is proud to help support and celebrate the bounty it produces. We also have Wyatt King with us. He is also a Buy Idaho employee, and I get to be the Buy Idaho board president and have been involved with Buy Idaho in supporting shopping local and support small business Saturday, uh, doing all things that we can to help support our local community, our restaurants, our hoteliers, our wine winemakers, our vintners, all of the things that you need to continue to keep your community vibrant and running, especially during a pandemic. So uh, without further ado, I need to first do something that is going to help support our local vendors. We know that during a pandemic, sometimes you don't want to necessarily go sit in the restaurant, but you still want restaurant quality food delivered to your door. So I have a special code for you for DoorDash, and it's a great way to support our local restaurants with safe, no contact delivery, and you get $30 off, $10 each of your first three orders when you sign up using my link and go to peppershock.com slash offers to get your free $30 and you'll get $10 each time you use it. Uh, and then you'll get $10 in credit when somebody signs up under your referral link too. So this is how this works, right? We want to support local and there are local restaurants that are utilizing DoorDash. And I particularly like DoorDash because they have supported the local community. They give back, they do all kinds of things uh, to support us. And then the people who need work, right? They can be door dashers. And so I've enjoyed having people deliver food for me. Some people I even knew when they came to my door, I knew them, <laughs> even with the mask on and they're very safe uh, and they can do that for you. So go to peppershock.com slash offers and go to the door dash link and get your free $30 on your first three orders of $10 off each one. So once again, peppershock.com slash offers. And now let's get to the podcast with the by Idaho people. Welcome to Pepper Shock Media's Marketing Expedition Podcast, keeping you up to date with the latest in marketing and advertising. Now, here's your host, Ray Allen. Welcome to the Marketing Expedition Podcast. I'm your host, Ray Allen. I'm the president and CEO of Pepper Shock Media and the founder of the Marketing Expedition Community. Today, I have with us Jen Mock, Jennifer Mock from Buy Idaho. She's the executive director of Buy Idaho. And Wyatt, last name Wyatt. King. <laughs> King, I knew that. I knew that. It was like I was going with something regal and I just couldn't get it in my mind. <laughs> you got it. There you go. Okay. Yes, you, you can be royalty amongst us. It's, it's all good. <laughs> but today we wanted to share with you, uh, our listeners of the Marketing Expedition podcast, about why it's important to buy local. And in my state, Buy Idaho is a nonprofit organization. Jen, tell everyone a little bit more about what Buy Idaho is and what you do. Sure. We are a statewide business alliance and we promote the sales and services of all Idaho businesses. And why, what is your role at Buy Idaho? So I'm the member relationship manager. So um, anytime we are onboarding um, or promoting an event or a specific business, um, I'd usually handle those kind of communications. Uh, but being a small operation, we're kind of both Swiss Army people. Right. Um, I also do the social media and 
payroll and taxes and things. Um, so we both are uh, many hats. That's right. Lots of hats in a small organization. Mm-hmm. And Buy Idaho has been around since the, what, late 80s, I think it is? 1986. Yeah. 1986. Yeah. And it all started with a former governor and a bunch of people kind of around playing cards in a room and saying, you know, we really got to focus on buying local and supporting our local businesses. And since then, we've had all kinds of events. Well, BC, before pandemic, or before COVID. <laughs> uh, Jen, tell about some of the events that I know uh, I've been a part of and that our community gets to be a part of. Sure, we do lots of things. We do um, after hours networking to help connect businesses. Um, we did, a couple summers ago, we did concerts in our courtyard, which were great fun. Um, Wyatt and I got to pick local bands and do breweries and wineries and food trucks and have local pop-ups in our showroom. So that was great fun. We had lots of people come from the community and just, it was just a good time. Um, But we also do the Capital Show, which is our main marketing event. It's 100 local businesses in the state capital. We take over all four floors of the Rotunda. Um, It's a great business to business marketing opportunity. You have 99 other captive businesses to you know, share your your organization with. And we get about 4,000 people from the community that come through that day. Um, and it's also during session. So we get lots of the legislators come out and they enjoy lunch and um, visit all the booths. It's Let's great. See what there is to see out there, right? Mm-hmm. And Wyatt, you get to be in charge of all of the social media that my Idaho does, right? That's what they tell me. <laughs> well, I have fun seeing you going around on the stories and, you know, sharing with all the different events and sharing about people and telling about the stories that are happening, right? Yeah, it's really the most effective way, especially in a pandemic, to communicate with um, all of your constituents and all of your members. So we've just been trying to utilize all of our platforms as well as we can. And um, while they're, you know, this whole thing is sort of throwing a wrench in normal marketing plans. So you just kind of retool and figure out different things to promote different, um, you know, ways to let an event, let people know that the event is safe or happening at all, or how, you know, what the events turned into. Um, so, and it's just a really good way to keep your finger on the pulse of what people are talking about. So, if there's something that's kind of popping off that, mm-hmm. that you've noticed on your timeline, you might want to jump on the, the train and, and kind of catch some, you know, we're not mm-hmm. clout chasing, but you, you want to jump in the conversation to be relevant. So that's what we're trying to do. And I think the stories help with that mm-hmm. immensely. You know, if you're in, in front of people's screens daily with your expiring, um, you know, 24 hour story, then people have to know that, oh, well, I have to see this today or right now I click on it because tomorrow I won't be able to, so or it'll be different tomorrow. So I think there's different ways to, to kind of remain relevant, but it has been pretty tough this year for sure. Yeah, those are called uh, ephemeral stories, short-lived stories, right? I had to practice saying that word and I had to think about it, exactly how to say it, but <laughs> and spell it out in my head. Um, but you're right. I think the the fleeting moment of being able to be on there and be seen and and then sharing about the members and what the members are doing. And you do a good job about sharing, you know, different events that we have going on or what's out there. And you also started a Facebook group. Tell us about that. Oh, gosh, you would put me on the spot. What's it called? I think it's just called By Idaho. Um... Connecting Businesses. Is it Connecting Businesses? Mm-hmm. Something about building community and being the best you can be, but not the army. Yeah, right. something like that. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes we'll post in there different events and learning and training. And, yeah. I think that's a good yeah. place for member to member communication. Um, the newsletter comes out once a month with opportunities promoted by us to different members, whether that's, um, you know, 10% off services at pepper shock or, um, Mm-hmm. What you know, members get their first window cleaning free or what you know what have you. So, I think that is a good reminder, but something that the, you can check every day in your Facebook group and say what are what are the Idaho businesses doing today, and you know what's what does my fellow by Idaho member maybe need, or what can I maybe propose to the group and say, hey, does anybody have experience with X? Um, you know, coming from a just a peer group is much more. Um, you know, people like their little echo chamber, so they'll uh, they'll be more responsive and, and I think carry a little bit more weight with, with what people have to say in response. So 
I think the Facebook groups have been good for that. Mm-hmm. Um, it does get, you know, you have to kind of be careful about what you're allowing on there or the messages that get put on there because they're just, it, it can become sort of a, um, <laughs> it's almost you know, a cesspool a, of things a, that you don't necessarily yeah, want to yes, a dearth to do, of things yeah. that you have to hack through and, right. and the, uh, that aren't interesting interesting or yeah well right know. now that the, on there somebody posted about the Boise Hemp Fest so that could mm-hmm. be interesting they're looking for vendors for that <laughs> <laughs> in August so <laughs> that's uh, that's interesting and then there's you know an event that's going to happen it looks like partnering with uh, the Idaho Manufacturing Alliance and an event that's going on there. So yeah, lots of different things that people can use and take advantage to learn and grow and connect and yeah. you know promote buying local, right? Yeah, and they're going through a little bit of a rebrand too right now. So it's just another opportunity for us to join that um, event that day, and then from our mouthpiece, you know, reiterate that back to the rest of Idaho in general, and then yeah. our members specifically. Yeah, they merged with the. Uh, the Idaho Aerospace Alliance that is predominantly in northern Idaho, and so now you can't necessarily call the SWIDA the Southwest Idaho. So now it's going to be all of Idaho, right? So now yeah. it's, got, it's going to be all of it. <laughs> Idaho Manufacturing Alliance, right? Mm-hmm. I think that's the name that they're going with. Which makes case. sense, yeah. Yeah, totally. For all of Idaho. Yeah, yeah and supports that SWIMA all. and all the other EMAs. Yeah. Can now be one. <laughs> That's right. Can all now be one. <laughs> yeah, lots of acronyms out there for different events going on. <laughs> there for are sure. a few. <laughs> the EMAs. The EMAs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, if you wanted to explore becoming a uh, Buy Idaho member and you've never done it before and you're an Idaho based business and I'm sure that there's other organizations out there across the country you know that have local local first organizations but let's just talk about uh, joining Idaho and Buy Idaho what what do we what do we do what do we go um, I mean I know the answer to this because I'm the president <laughs> of Buy Idaho but tell me uh, for those that don't know what what should they do Sure. We, um, you know, we encourage anybody that has a local business just to go to our website and check it out. Um, it's by Idaho.org. We are a great resource uh, for other businesses so that, I mean, our goal is that everybody does business with another Idaho company. Um, we want to keep all of that tax money in our in our state. Yes. Um, that helps build our infrastructure and, and keeps us really healthy and diverse. Um, so yeah, they, they can go to our website, follow us on social media, call us at the office. Um, when you call, I mean, we only, there's two employees, so you get Wyatt or I every time you call. We will okay. answer. We will answer. Luckily. It actually goes to our cell phones. We will answer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So let's back up a little bit and tell us um, a little history. I, you know, obviously got the uh, pleasure of being on the board and when we got to hire you to begin with, you kind of were in Wyatt's role and then Sandy Mm -hmm. moved to the chamber and now you took over the role. Tell us a little bit about your background. I I know that you're from Miami. Wyatt, you were gonna sing. You were gonna sing. You said you were gonna sing when we brought up Miami. That's where Jen's from. Well, party in the city when the heat is on, you know? Um, yes, I'm from Miami, uh, born and raised. Not many people can say that, actually. Um, but I went to Florida State. I was a social worker in South Florida and um, moved out here. I had some family. I wanted to see what the Wild West was like. And wow, I got to West. Boise 17 years ago. And it was another like great Mayberry. Will, but Miss will Smith yes, reference. Yes, so another. <laughs> it's just going to be a Will Smith podcast. Um, yeah, got to Boise 17 years ago. It was amazingly different than what I had grown up with Uh, so I wanted to move out here and see what it was like and um, I was fortunate enough to get a job at by Idaho kind of worked my way up came in you know office manager Mm -hmm. and then became member relationship manager and then became executive director so it is I live and breathe it that's for sure I've been there for almost six years now and it's been, it's wonderful. I mean, let's be honest, everything is social work. Everybody has a need, everybody has a want, and it's <laughs> yeah. figuring out how we how we fulfill those things. So it's, it's right up my alley. Making connections. You're mm-hmm. good at making those connections between the people that are all over the state. And you were traveling BC before mm-hmm. COVID mm-hmm. and going to different places and yeah. getting new by Idaho members excited and, and all of that. Tell me, tell me what, where was the place that you traveled? What did you do? Where did you go? Oh, I've been to Coeur d'Alene and Idaho Falls and Pocatello and all the little towns in between. Um, I have yet to make it to Driggs. That is on my yeah. list of 
places I want to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I used to live in Coeur d'Alene, so Northern Idaho and, um, yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful state. It's easy to travel. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, and hopefully once we get back to being able to travel again, we'll get to go visit everyone. But for right now, we're doing Zoom meetings and, you know, having board members from all over on the Zoom meetings. And right. <laughs> it's a, it's one way to get around it, right? Uh-huh. But I did I did have to go to the office and be with you people when we were uh, <laughs> doing the last meeting. I was like, I need people. <laughs> yes. Physical contact, you know, social contact. We're yes. missing it. Yes. And at the office, too, I mean, it's really the showroom. A lot of the Buy Idaho products are there. Tell us tell us some interesting things that are at the Buy Idaho showroom. Oh, gosh. Wyatt, you want to? Yeah. Flip-flops? I mean, there's... It, <laughs> flip-flops? It is endless. There are foam flip-flops um, yeah, from our good friends at Telic. Uh-huh. Okay. Made, made in Garden City. Um, what else is in there? We've got ostrich beef jerky. We've got... Um, huckleberry jam. We've got vodka. We've got moonshine. We've I got wine. Yes. some wines and beers and um, some cider as well. Um, we should mention they're not for sh- sh- for sale. They're just for show, right? We, right, we just yeah. have a party every yeah, afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> this is the showroom. We'll show you empty bottles when you come. <laughs> no, um, yeah, everything's just for show. That that is a. Um, a point of confusion, I would say, when people come to the, the showroom just because by Idaho gets thrown around as, oh, go learn about or figure mm-hmm. out what things Idaho you can buy and bring home to your friends and family. And then, you know, which is what you can do, but mm-hmm. we just point you to where you can go get them. You can't right. come get them from us. Right. We would, um, you know, it, within this whole COVID pandemic, we've talked about doing an online store and it's, mm-hmm. we're in this kind of weird um, middle ground where we don't want to take business away you know we want to be drawing people of course to our website to to learn about our events and Mm -hmm. and what we have going on and and who our members are but at the end of the day we want then for that person to go to their website and purchase from them so it's sort of this thing well yeah we could set up a a a, you know a big cartel or some Mm -hmm. Etsy kind of thing and and uh, you know put this as a platform for our members but is it something that we need to dabble in should we let them should we just promote which is why what Mm -hmm. we've ended up doing is promoting their stores and and there's a couple of local people actually that have um taken that upon themselves Mm -hmm. that have become by idaho members so good like gift baskets yeah Yeah. well there's a couple of e-commerce sites that have come Um, up connector Uh uh-huh that's right Um, yeah okay yeah, with a K yeah. connector, mm-hmm. yeah. And then the so, Boise Hive and Boise as well. Hive, That's yeah. Boise centric, obviously. Right now, a mm-hmm. um, couple younger guys that have headed that up, but um, Connector I think is is a little more branched out at this point. But mm-hmm. it could be, you know, just yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a short time before we know how quickly things on the internet move. So yeah. there's no reason why somebody couldn't be from Sandpoint and selling things on Connector if, if it's Boise Boise uh-huh. based. So yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, and that's what people want to do too. When they come, they want to learn what it is that they can purchase that is Idaho driven, and then you can just drop ship it from <laughs> the By Idaho members website. And there is a directory on there the is. website yeah. byidaho.org, right? Yes. And people can look at the directory, get links to their own websites, or you know, to the the products or services that they want to do. But yeah. Yeah, we also do a printed directory. So at mm-hmm. most of the Chamber of Commerce um, throughout the state, you can find them, the visitor centers, right. some of the hotels. And stickers, lots of stickers. Yeah. By Idaho products. That's how you know that that company is local. You look for those blue mountains with the gold by Idaho sign on it. Yeah. And then we also had a character for a while. What happened to him? Uh, <laughs> the character? The Buzz lives. Oh, Buzz, yes. our, our mascot. Yes. Yes. We need to find somebody small enough but large enough to wear the <laughs> said, yes. said mascot yes. it is cumbersome and warm yes, yes. yeah but we, you're protected because you have a mascot <laughs> exactly exactly I we tend imagine. to use it in january when we don't need the ice packs <laughs> right <laughs> yeah buzz buzz makes uh seldom appearances capital show mm-hmm. maybe a, maybe a football game here and there <laughs> yes 
Yeah, we'll definitely have to put the word out there for the uh, Buzz mascot yeah. tryouts. Exactly. <laughs> Just waiting for my son to get big enough to wear it. There you <laughs> go. Because <laughs> yeah. he brings on a bunch send, of Buzz, but a bump. <laughs> send your send your kids for cheap labor, please. That's right. <laughs> Keeping it local. They need part time part time work. Uh, so what have you wore the, Have you wore it? No, but a friend of mine uh-huh. was uh, nice enough nice to enough. very good. Um, <laughs> At the last capital, he, he was he was a paid um, he was a, a paid mascot. Right. So we didn't torture him with just a volunteer opportunity. But oh, good, yeah, <laughs> that's very nice. <laughs> I think he would say otherwise. I think he feels it was torture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I I was a mascot um, for my college uh-huh. for two years, so I know the pain of being in a hot, stinky mascot outfit. So. So you know that that is not one of the things that you would like to put on your resume for this job, then, huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think it shows a, a quite a level of stick to <laughs> Yes. Staying power. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. So, Wyatt, let's talk a little bit about your college days. So Jen was telling me that you went to school to sing. Yeah. Well, that wasn't the... That was what I got money to go to school for. <laughs> I, <see. laughs> gotcha. I went for all sorts of reasons. Uh-huh. Um, I went to Westminster College in Salt Lake City. Okay. Uh, it's a little tiny private liberal arts school. When I was there, it was 2,800 kids. Uh-huh. It's probably 4,000 now. It's, it, yeah, it's, you know, it's growing. With everything Bigger. growing, it, it's probably grown. Um, it was great. Five minute walk from one end of campus to the other. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15 minutes down the road from the University of Utah. So, or de facto right. U of U football fans because we didn't have a football team or a Greek system. So if you want to go to a frat party or a football game, you go to the U. Yeah. And then you just stay on campus for your education. Nice. Yeah. So um, so, so, what is it that you sang? Oh, right? so I got a vocal scholarship, but I, you know, we were quote unquote classically trained. It wasn't uh-huh. um, pop style singing. It was, you know, more of the classic old traditional stuff. No, so, I really don't know. You're going to just have to share it. Show me. Share it. And let me hear it. I'm not, not super warmed up today. So we, might have to, we might have to get back in the studio. Um, I sang all sorts of and stuff. And your face is it turning was, bright red. It was, uh, it was an ensemble. So it was mm-hmm. a, a select group of, of people. And then we broke off into smaller groups. So at one point I was in a, um, a quintet, just okay. five guys. Nice. So we did acapella stuff. And wow. we would perform, you know, at all the other concerts that we were doing, but just additional, yeah. you know, rehearsal time and things like that. So, that so was, what are some songs that you sang? That I mean, if you did acapella, was I mean, like the classic Mr. Did Sandman? Some, did you do that or no? No, because that's a, that was a, I think that was the Shirelles or something, and it was it was a girls group, so we didn't do that one. Um, <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> we did do White Christmas oh. uh, for a Christmas concert, and as a solo, I did. Um, a few songs, but I did You Are So Beautiful, Joe Cocker for a mm-hmm. Valentine's Day concert. That was cool. Um, I think we have another event to plan, don't you think, Jen? <laughs> yes. It's going to be just Wyatt on stage That's and I'll right. just sell tickets. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fundraiser. <laughs> well, uh, if somebody wants to buy me two beers and go to karaoke, it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> two Buy Idaho local beers. <laughs> exactly. Who, who are our Buy Idaho members that are breweries? Oh, we have several. Yeah. Boise Brewing. Magic Valley Brewing, Lost Grove, Grand Teton. Is Mother um, Earth? Mm-hmm. Salmon Mother River, Earth. Salmon River, Mother Earth Bring, Mother Earth, shout out to those guys. Yeah. Uh, also, Nampa, which is yeah. where we are recording this right now, they mm-hmm. um, went the extra mile and put our logo on their cans. Sweet. So if you really want to put your money where your local mouth is, right. put our logo on your stuff. Yeah, that's great. It's good for Buy Idaho and good for the Buy Idaho organization as a whole, too. Absolutely. It was also, yeah. I mean, very, they're no dummies. They, you know, we, everybody knows Mother Earth's story. They're a transplant um, that have, you know, made a great contribution to the state. So yeah, no, nobody's saying um, that it's been a, a bad experience having them here. It has not. Um, but they knew to sort of ingratiate themselves with the local community right. that if they put our logo on their can, they would quickly gain some some local stability. Mm-hmm. So it, notoriety. It, yeah, for it, it, it works. Local, you know, yeah. works for us to to promote the brand and mm-hmm. keep us having a job but it also works for that business to say hey when people are shopping in the store and they see that logo they know that it's a trusted idaho product 
And we do we charge extra to put logos no, on things? No, it's just it's not. part of your membership. You can use our logo digitally or in print. But you know, it's something that I have noticed with living here, being from Florida. You know, a lot of people from Florida aren't necessarily from Florida. They right. move from other places, um, and that's just now starting to happen here in Idaho. We right. have this new influx of people. Um, but there is something about Idahoans. They are proud to be Idahoans. Oh, yes. <laughs> so if you want to sell anything in this state, that's part of, you know, one of the, the key marketing things here is is pride in yes. where you're from. Homegrown, so, Idaho. Mm-hmm. Yep. Idahoans, I'm a homegrown Idaho yeah, girl. <laughs> they want to support each other. So mm-hmm. being a part of our organization really just showcases that. Yeah. So And yeah. agriculture is very big here. Big. I mean, there's a lot of... Mm-hmm. Potatoes, of course. <laughs> sugar beets. Sugar beets. And, yeah, but we're yeah. also, uh, I think we overtook Wisconsin for cheese. And cheese. Um, and uh, the next big thing, barley and hops. Barley and hops yep. is massive, mm-hmm. obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, and grapes are, are growing here. Yep. I mean, yeah. pun intended, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> we have, the well, are, the uh, acreage of grapes are growing. <laughs> three different um AVAs, which are American Viticulture Associ- uh, Association area, 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 area right? Yeah. Um, so we just got a new one designated in the Eagle um, Eagle Island area. So there's you know plenty plenty of places to make wine and beer. So nobody's going thirsty in Idaho. Right. That's Lots for sure. of cool stories of Idahoans growing. I mean, a lot of them turned from orchards to then wineries too, mm-hmm. and some of them are doing quite well, which is. Phenomenal to see. Yeah, mm-hmm. and just to to your point about the diversity of of Idaho, you know, we are yes heavy ag, but we are massive in manufacturing. We already talked about yeah. Swima and, mm-hmm. and the aerospace. Aerospace is another industry that you know they're so massive they yeah. almost there's not really any locality to that because yeah, they're. Everywhere. The name of their business is getting everything else out. So Mm -hmm. they're flying all around. They don't really have any attachment to Idaho. So that would be, you know, if there's any aviation companies out there that would like to be members of Buy Idaho. That's right. (laughs) We're looking for you. In Coeur d'Alene area, northern Idaho for sure. Well, they manufacture manufacture parts here too. Mm -hmm. That and then technology. Huge tech is huge. I was just going to say that. Yeah. And we had, you know, Intuit bought out uh, T-Sheets, which they kept their uh, organization. Equifax here. just bought Count for, yeah. I think, a, a lot of money. A number with a B. It might be a B close. With a B, yeah. yeah. I can't quite remember, like mm-hmm. one point something billion. Mm-hmm. That was insane. So that yeah. doesn't suck. So also, yeah. if you have tech companies, we'll take them too. <laughs> That's yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. That's right. To support. And we do. Sure we have us. Micron was a Buy Idaho member. I think they still are. Still right? are and big yeah, members. Yeah. Big yep. members. Micron Technologies, yeah. Yeah. Intermountain yeah. gas. I mean, there's tons of uh, stalwarts. The only one that we're missing, if you're listening, is Idaho Power. Well, we mm-hmm. need to get them on board, don't they? They, they not, to, uh, yeah. not to <laughs> they used to kick be. any dirt around. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's the challenge to, to Idaho, to, to Idaho Power, who coincidentally is bringing the power to us today. Exactly. <laughs> this yeah. podcast is brought to you by... <laughs> so, so you would think with all of their, mm-hmm. you know, pun intended, mm-hmm. power... Mm-hmm. There you go. They would want to align themselves with some uh, local businesses. Absolutely. and There you go. So if anyone's things. listening that has any connections to Idaho Power, that's how this works. There you go. <laughs> Let us know. Let's get back in the fold. <laughs> yep, that's right. So on that note, how do people get a hold of you if they are interested in becoming by Idaho members and how much is it? Give us all the sure. details. Um, going to our website's the easiest way, buyidaho.org um, under our membership tab. Um, if your gross sales in the state of Idaho are under a million dollars, it's $185 for the year. It goes up incrementally from there. That's um, per year, not per month, per people. Year. That's a, yep, yeah, per it's year. like very, very cost effective. We try to keep things very affordable. We want everybody to be members. Um, there's 57,000 local businesses in the state of Idaho, um, and we want all of them to to come and be a part of our organization so that we can help connect you to each other and everybody does business together. Now, let's uh, go over the qualifications. They have to be, they don't necessarily have to be born in Idaho businesses. Nope. But they need to be doing business in Doing Idaho. business in Idaho. You need a license to do business in Idaho. Right. So register with the yep. Secretary of State. Secretary of State. And then, yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. If you're hiring local people and you are paying taxes here, you are contributing to our economy. We right. want to help support you. Yeah. And you're keeping Idaho dollars in Idaho. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we did a PSA one time where we followed the dollar, mm -hmm. and it was all, you know, restaurants and gas stations and, you know, all the different places that you would spend that dollar and then keeping it in Idaho as opposed yeah. to, you know, buying online or... For every dollar you spend in Idaho, 68 cents stays here when you shop from a local business. Right. If you shop from a big box store, it's, I think it's 30... 34 cents, don't quote me on that. Right. Um, but then that money gets reinvested up to seven times in our local community by people that you're purchasing from locally. Yeah, and I think so. if you buy online, it's something like nine cents or something it's, terrible. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I think it might be. Like, well, you can buy from local businesses online, online, right? And support the local businesses because they're having to do online and curbside and all those things. But the A but, company, yes, the, the, A, A, the A company, company it's it's zero. Smiling from A yes. to Z, that company exactly. <laughs> it doesn't. Nothing stays here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know, we are getting a plant here for what packaging and distribution, so that's going to have a little bit different effect. Like, yeah, it'll soon. have some impact. Yeah. yeah. But I wonder if they're going to start flying drones to drop like deliveries they better i know right <laughs> <laughs> and it better be here in within a day no no more of this two-day prime if we're getting but a facility in the shop backyard from them. <laughs> no we don't we don't know anything about shopping from the a to z dot com place yeah that... <laughs> only only when we weren't allowed to leave our house right that's right yeah did you know that the the logo with the smile from a to, you can get anything from a to z yes that's the, that's the yeah. logo anyway yeah. like in fedex there's an arrow in mm -hmm. fedex did you yeah. know that yeah logo? I know. yes cool. which yeah. you know i'm sure fedex and ups are widely supported by that company too but we yes. want them to support our local companies yes. and sensi is a local company yes right they yes. Get a lot of ups shipments and this is true. Good, smelly yep. good stuff and we would Giovanni. love for them to be members we need them to be members so anybody listening to this that's a sensi uh mm -hmm. distributor that can you know talk to our people at sensi they need to become members for sure Absolutely. and put by idaho product uh, logo on their products that Absolutely. would be amazing that would be great yeah 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 uh chobani cliff bar yeah. there's tons of stuff i mean Southeastern Idaho is blowing up with Dairy Idaho Falls farms. and it's Twin huge. Falls. It's mm -hmm. massive. So, yeah. you know, and that was a, a big part of Jen's MO, you know, BC was, right. hey, we need to get over <laughs> here. Stop in BC yeah. before COVID. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we need to get over to this part of the state. There's a lot yeah. of things going on. You know, Boise is, is burgeoning and it can only, you know, grow yeah. so fast. So right. it's got to kind of spill over into all these other places. Idaho Falls, Magic Valley area. Yeah. Yeah. Idaho Rome. Falls has such Idaho amazing Falls. growth happening. Yeah. You know, and just bringing them back into the, the state, it's easy when you have another capital mm -hmm. right outside your back door mm -hmm. that, you know, it's easy to go to, you know, Utah and mm -hmm. do things, but we want them to kind Same of come thing. back into, yeah. you come, know, it's like, North, Idaho, yeah. yeah, it's like Northern Idaho. I mean, when I lived in Coeur d'Alene, I only heard Spokane, Washington news for an entire year. Um, I didn't even know what was going on in our state. Wow. Um, so, you know, getting getting that information up there and getting those mm -hmm. those folks just interested in what's happening, um, that's yeah. it's important. Yeah, and keeping the Idaho dollar in Idaho, mm -hmm. even if it is a tiny little panhandle state, you know, yes. part of the state, there's still something to be said about keeping Idaho dollars in Idaho yeah. regardless. And oh. it's very cold and dark up there. You know people are making <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> uh, uh, what's the Etsy? The Etsy store? Yeah. You know, see where it came from. <laughs> exactly. Well, see, now, made in Idaho. instead of Etsy, we've Connector with a yeah, K. Yeah, with a K. Uh, Etsy, I think, was taking 50%. Connector oh, would take 10%. Wait, how do you spell Connector? Because there's multiple different ways with a K, but is it K-E-K-O? K-A. It's a, it's a funny one. Write this down. Okay. K-A-N-E-C-T-R. E-C-T-R. <laughs> yeah. Yep. K A N E C T E R. No. Nope. T R. One extra E. <laughs> oh, okay. C. T R. Got it. No R. Gotta... Okay. I'm going to look it up right now so that our readers, our listeners, readers. <laughs> there we go. K A N E C T R. Lots of love there and lots of plugs. So they're by Idaho members now. So that's awesome. And they're selling all kinds of Idaho. Uh, fun things. Let's talk about this, the fun things that we got to buy at the holiday market. So I mm -hmm. tried to do everything I could local and got all of my family Christmas shopping done pretty much uh, at the holiday market, which we weren't even sure if we could do because of pandemic. Right. Let's talk about holiday market. Oh, holiday market was fun this year. We did it outside. So, you know, doing cool. anything in November outdoors was um, 
was hard. We had but, heaters and hand warmers. Yeah, <laughs> I walked yeah. through the the entryway and hand warmers were handed to me right away by yeah. uh, ICCU. Yeah, was Idaho Central out. Credit yeah, Union. Yeah, Idaho Central Credit Union. So yeah, we had um, I don't know how many how many vendors. Did Our we have holiday this year? hero, ICCU. Thank you again. That's right. Yeah. ICCU. Do we have a hundred vendors? Close to. 100 vendors, yeah. Yeah. Well, and so I know you had to turn it off because you got quite a bit. Did, right? We yeah. did. We were we were deemed an essential market. We um we partnered with Capital City Public Market. Yeah. And so we were able to continue and we just spaced out mm-hmm. and, and made sure that it, everybody wore masks. We yep. made sure that we were very safe. We had a great band. I and got a picture with music. the fire department, mm-hmm. the calendar. <laughs> yes, yes. It was, yes. Anybody need a calendar? We still oh, have some yeah. at the office. <laughs> it's a fundraiser for the burnout fund. It is. For the Eagle Fire Department, they may not have shirts on, but that's yeah. okay. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Wyatt. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, there's the, a lady in there too. I think there is. There's oh, there a couple is. ladies. A couple yep. ladies. Yeah, they're they're, good. they're pretty clothed. Yes, that's good. Um, but yeah, we have everything from soaps to cider. I mean, yeah. there was a little bit of everything there. We had some great first time vendors. Okay. Um, there was a, a young man who was doing glass blown um, art. Yeah. We had. Uh, Christmas ornaments and things like that. So it was his first time ever doing a market, and he had <gasps> such a wonderful time. Um, so yeah, we had we had a wonderful group of eclectic. Yeah, I came out things. with earrings, and my sister and sis- my sister and my sister in law got uh, what was it the Idaho shirts because they're not in Idaho anymore, and so I had to I always have to remind them that you know where they came from, <laughs> and so they got shirts that said something like "Born in Idaho" or "Idaho." I don't remember what it was, but it had the heart with Idaho on it. And so they got that, and then they got the soaps, right? Mm-hmm. And my son got the um, the Mandalorian. Uh, little baby Yoda, oh, yeah. little, uh, Grogu soap looking thing. Oh, fun. And it turned the bathtub green. It was awesome. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I even bought um, dog toys. I bought antler dog treats for my dog. Oh, there. yeah. Those, that I was love that. Fun. That's, love that. Yeah. yeah. My got, dog would eat on that forever. <laughs> mm-hmm. We had all sorts of stuff. Um, there was a company there that was a first time for the holiday market, Mad for Plaid. They mm-hmm. did really well. Um, what they, do they do? Mad for so Plaid. they I sold uh, ornaments, but they also, you mentioned the Mandalorian. Oh, yeah. They do screen printing, too. So oh, I, I did bought see that. Okay, yeah. two little uh, vacuum-insulated wine glasses that Ooh. they make now. Okay. Um, there's all sorts. There you was know, tons I of saw, apparel. and I have to follow up with them because they sell old-time cameras. I mean, they're not even that old, but they actually, like, yeah. Develop film. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was explaining to my 13 year old that, you know, you analog had to like. Boise. Yeah. <laughs> analog, analog Boise. Analog Boise. Yeah. Analog Boise. Yeah. Yeah. And you can actually still get film developed. So. <laughs> yes. And if you cool. don't know where to get it, they can point you in the direction, yeah. which is. That was pretty cool. cool. Analog Boise. Yeah. They might be the, the ones on with the inside track on how to develop film because Idaho Camera Supply closed mm-hmm. down this oh, year. No. So. Yeah. I know. Oh, dear. Super bummer. Oh, yeah. That is. That's where I got my. Light, my nice little light that you uh, Ooh, use. Little ring light. Z- yeah, you're, yeah, the ring light. There you go. <laughs> oh, I've that's seen a TikTok. Idaho yeah. Camera. yeah, TikTok. <laughs> well, this has been fun. I think, um, you know, Buy Idaho is very important. And, you know, the things that our small businesses need right now is absolutely to support them and connect with them and follow them. I always say the five reviews or five R's, raise five R's. Review, rank, uh, recommend reward no rewards the last one because I can do my thumbs up but um, what is it recommend review reward uh, refer uh, and then reward those who do that for you so all of the things that the small businesses and by idaho.org need is uh, those those five R's right absolutely <laughs> and exactly. revenue too right I mean it's a nonprofit, but right. yes <laughs> yeah that six one is a good one that's, too. that's a good one yeah. <laughs> we'll add yep. six yeah <laughs> we're always looking for supporters <laughs> yes. yeah just the you know we want to toe the line this mm-hmm. is the the message is to support your local business because they affect your local neighborhood so yeah. if you want strong communities you want strong local business you don't right. want a dollar store and a walmart and a mcdonald's and then your apartment complex it just isn't mm-hmm. that's not how the strong american communities are built you know yeah. that seems to be where a lot of them are at the moment but the, we know what is really important is having somebody with the story that you buy the thing from that lives next door to you. Mm-hmm. So you make sure to, hey, I have to go support these guys because 
if I don't support them, then I don't know who's going to be my neighbor. And I like this guy. Yeah, of course. You know, there's an organization in, in Boise called the Treasure Valley Canopy Association, and they actually control the, the tree canopy and oh. the heat index of different parts of the valley and where they need to go plant trees versus where they need to go trim trees in order to control the heat wow. on the street. Well, when they go and they, they trim these trees, they actually sell those limbs to local wood makers. Oh, I, got a, and I then, got a wooden spoon. Yeah, that's, I did and not then know. The, I, I didn't realize the wood that makers that's are that. selling things at the local markets, and <sighs> that's what you know. I mean, I bought one for my mom and had it engraved. They did yeah. wood burn, wood burning too. on it, and yeah. um, you know, sent it to her in Miami. And they so, have like cutting boards and mm-hmm. tree spoons yeah. and things that are made out of There's local trees. There's so many are, amazing yeah. organizations that work together like this, and we um, we pride ourselves in actually being a, a bridge. Yeah. And letting people know that these organizations actually exist and that this is where you're sourcing everything from. Diverse communities are strong communities. Yeah. And, you know, you have to support your neighbor. That's, That's right. one thing we've learned during COVID is that without our mom and pop stores, um, it's a little bland out there. Yeah. 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 It's really sad and bland and great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And for those of you who are listening who are outside of Idaho, we welcome you to support Idaho uh, homegrown businesses, too. I know wineries can ship Idaho wine to most places, not all states. Some of them don't allow it, but I don't know, just market with cleaning supplies and I don't know never mind <laughs> I didn't say that retract out okay. well and honestly look for look for this organization just like by Idaho in your neighborhood right I mean it's a lot of having a strong United States is important and mm-hmm. and that goes to even those local yeah I mean there's there's this organization in most communities across the the nation yep something like so, this something like there. it yep. look it up see what it is that you can do to support local businesses local yep. organizations that support local businesses right I yeah. mean we're uh, by Idaho's a non Profit that is supporting business, and so you know you got to support those who support us. <laughs> Absolutely, it makes travel fun when you go to a new area. Look up an organization like this, the Shop Local Initiative, and mm-hmm. go get the the culture of that neighborhood. You right. want that anyway. You don't want to go to a place you've never been before and go to all the stores that you know about. You yeah. want well, some people might, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not traveling with those people. Yeah. <laughs> we we want to have fun and learn new yeah. things and go to the coolest restaurant and yeah. go to the you know the cool new brewery in town that everybody's raving about. Right. Recommendations right. and reviews can really help that online too. For nobody's for winning that. an award for visiting 99 Applebee's. Oh, so right. we need to <laughs> we need to go with the local. But there are the shows out ones. there about visiting all of the local dive bars and yes. you know greasy spoon places and all kinds of fun stuff. I mean, yeah. I think there was a show and the he's a comedian, but he like was going to visit all these different places and one of the restaurants in Idaho was showcased and mm-hmm. so he put it all over social media and then suddenly that restaurant just exploded yeah. for weeks afterwards just yeah. because of that you know, celebrity coming to the... (laughs) Right. Yeah. There's a lot that, there's a lot that each city has to offer. You really want to get, you know, behind the veil and see what, what makes it tick. Absolutely. And we were talking about bringing together, because we are on a marketing expedition after Mm all, um, we were talking about bringing together some of the Buy Idaho members that wanted to support doing commercials and advertising online to then drive traffic to the Buy site, and then they can look at the directory and then be a part of it. And just like your paper directory, right, Mm -hmm. where people look it up and they can see it, it's a tangible feeling. Well, now we also want to take that online, right? Kind of change a little bit from going from brick and mortar to click and mortar. So Mm -hmm. you can go online and shop and still in the comfort of your own home, even if you are in, you know, rural Idaho, you can still order stuff um, from the, the websites that are on the Buy Idaho website, right? Right. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to have some fun with that. I think we'll tell some stories. We'll get some good uh, brand stories out there about some Buy Idaho uh, locals. I mean, we've had some companies that have been a part of Buy Idaho since day one, and some of them are on our board and, uh, you know, candy companies. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what's the, that, the peanuts? City Peanut City and then Idaho yeah. Candy and yeah. Houston Vineyards. And yeah. yeah, they've all been members for a long time. Yep. And I have been a part of By Idaho. I was uh, wrangled in <laughs> on the board and uh, we produced some PSAs a long time ago and they've still, they're still probably floating around, but it's time to do some new ones and, and get more new, wonderful members to be a port, part of this whole organization and community that we've got going on and be a part of the Facebook group. You still let people in the Facebook group that aren't necessarily By Idaho Absolutely. members yet. Absolutely. But we want them to become By Idaho members. Yes. That's yep. always what we're after there. 
Yeah, it yeah. was started mainly during the shutdown. We mm-hmm. just wanted businesses to be able to communicate with one another and support each other and then let the, the public know how they were still functioning yeah. during the shutdown. So We did a, a Facebook Live in the group and uh, had some people join in. Is it WEPA? WEPA. The food? The yes. food? Yes, he's going to be opening up his restaurant in Garden City, Idaho here in the next couple of months. It's going to be, he's actually in Puerto Rico as we speak, uh-huh. um, at, with his family sourcing dishes and oh, cutlery so. and decor for <gasps> his just restaurant. Have to do a big old buy Idaho reception for him mm-hmm. and, and celebrate that because he was just doing food truck, right? He was. He started with not even a truck, uh, just a tent and portable um, food and little things. Yeah, deep fryers, farmer market kind of thing, mm-hmm. and then yeah. and then there and then mainly the breweries. That? He would just he would set up a tent outside the breweries, and then he got a ma- a major following. Um, who knew that in the Treasure Valley we had such a large um, Puerto Rican like from Puerto Rico Puerto right. Rican um, community authentic food authentic in yeah. Idaho and then they were awesome. very excited yeah. That's so. great. <laughs> well, that's exciting. We'll have to be there when that happens and go eat some yummy yes. food. And then speaking of food, though, the one thing that I thought was like crazy, I didn't think I would ever like it. Uh, it was ice cream made out of potatoes. Oh, yes. That, that was amazing. Oh. And the Huckleberry? cashew cheese, I was telling you. Cashew cheese, yeah. Kula yeah. Connection is. Kula uh, Connection, that's right. She makes all sorts of. Um, vegan stuff. Yeah, yeah it's, we had, it's vegan. It's probiotic. It's she just came out with a cookbook only oh, just mushrooms, just mushrooms, and so oh. she does lion's mane mushrooms with Groves Country, mush, Groves County, Groves Country mushroom. Um, so she does like lion's mane instead of meat, and I mean just oh, whole yummy. meals. So when we had the annual banquet, and I became president, and the governor came and you know announced and said all the wonderful things that he does. He was about ready to walk out of the area, you know, outside, and uh, and she caught him and said, "You have to try this. It's a Idaho potato ice cream with huckleberries on top. Mm-hmm. Idaho huckleberries. Idaho's known for huckleberries, right? Wild grown huckleberries." And he stopped. Montana will say they are the huckleberry people, oh, but okay. we know the right answer. That's right. That's right. There was a, a tremendous crop this year of huckleberries. I know because my fingers were purple for a, a week. <laughs> But uh, she stopped him, and he he had it, and like he was like, "Wow, this is really good. Can I have another?" <laughs> <laughs> they are so good. It is. She yeah. she makes all sorts of crazy stuff. So we found out about her when um, Roots Zero Waste Market opened up in Garden City, which is another cool place. Um, if you are in town, go to Roots Zero Waste mm-hmm. Market. They have all sorts of local foods and things, and. Um, Obviously, it's a. I feel like we just need to take like a road trip. We do. Well, and just need to go like safely, you know. And I want to interrupt real real quick here, but Root Zero Waste Market is actually the nation's first zero waste market. Zero waste, and it's right here in Garden City, Idaho. So she does not have any packaging um, other than sustainable packaging, and her filtration misting system for her vegetables is state of the art. It's something that is nowhere. It's it's an amazing. Um, contribution to our community yeah. here that everybody should go check out, learn and do mm-hmm. and replicate and yeah, learn you could have a yeah. you could do a whole podcast on just their setup. Yeah, we should have her on the show for mm-hmm. sure. We'll have to make mm-hmm. that connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we <laughs> oh, were yeah. we went there for their grand opening and Kula was there doing samples. Michelle's uh-huh. her name. I keep okay. we keep saying Kula connection, but her name's Michelle. She's a really awesome lady, um, uh, professor. Um, super, super smart, was in the corporate world for a long time, and her health just got the best of her, and she right. said, I'm going to do something, make to, something to make a change. Yeah. And she started making cashew well, it's cheese. it's gluten-free, right? I mean, potatoes are gluten-free. It's, well, everything yeah, she makes yeah, is completely gluten-free. vegan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, completely vegan. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So we tried it, and then we just fell in love. She's got yeah. this one called Sweet Heat, which is cranberry and jalapeno Ooh. for, like, Thanksgiving time. Very good. So then we hit her up for a plain version, which she doesn't normally make. Uh-huh. But we were having a Super Bowl party. This is last year. We're having a Super Bowl party. When you could have that. And we party. want, <laughs> yeah, exactly. When Fauci says you can do what, uh, yeah. when you can have a party. So we wanted to make buffalo chicken dip, but one that I can eat because I don't eat dairy. Gotcha. So yeah. we went with 
plain cashew cheese nice. and you can't tell the difference it's yeah, freaking so cool. amazing yeah, yeah i love cashew cheese too i mean mm. that's uh, we need we need to do a road trip again and just like go all the way around and we'll just take the podcast on the road and then we'll yeah. interview and we'll make a compilation of by idaho you know and, and then we'll do the video too we'll get everybody on the video and then we'll just have a series of of these by idaho videos that everyone can watch and buy from <laughs> i think i see a winnebago in our future wyatt i'm in <laughs> I mean, yeah. that would be so much fun. want to sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who's uh, an Idaho RV company that needs to become uh, a Bi Idaho member? Wandervan. <laughs> Bish's, Bish's, Bish's RV. RV. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, for Idaho. Nelson's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy, Shout happy out. Day, I think. Is Shout out Nelson's. Oh, yeah. yeah happy day. Yeah. Yeah. We could get um, them on board. I like it. <laughs> yeah. The Bi Idaho Mobile. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Hey, and we know that there's a lot of cool metal fabricators and, and yeah. auto builders out there. So we're not banking on. Right. Just the RV. If you have a cool adventure vehicle that you want us to try out, we would try yeah. one of those too. And then Buzz could like, you know, be in the parade. Buzz the Just the strap Idaho. him to the top. We could strap Buzz it's on gonna, there. Yeah. It's gonna look like the uh, the Google mapping cars, but it's Buzz on top. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this has been fun, you guys. Thanks for coming by the Pepper Jock studio to record with me. I love it when people come and see me in person and you're not just on a screen, but we're also going to go shoot some headshots with you and, and have a little fun here. So uh, thanks so much. And um, just lasting thoughts, anything that you want to share with your Biado members or if people should become a member or anything that uh, you want to share that, that we haven't already talked about. Jen? Um, just buy local. Buy local. Follow by Idaho. Reach out to us. We're happy to connect you with anybody that you are interested in, you yeah. know, shopping from or and we can we can tell you where to go. Just use us. Shop local. Yeah. Got it. I would say share your story. Let us know who you are, why you are, what you do, why you do what you do. People, yeah. you know, we are of the mindset already that local is is going to be more beneficial to your community in the long run mm -hmm. and short run so we're thinking do that already anyway mm -hmm. but a lot of people don't realize how important their story is to their customers patronage so mm -hmm. you know why do you exist give people a reason to be bought into you specifically mm -hmm. your family your household hey you're supporting my two kids XYZ. Mm -hmm. so, so give people a reason to, to support you and tell by Idaho because we have the mouthpiece to put that, you know, that's what yeah. we do. We want to show you off and tell people your story to get people in your door. So, right. And Simon Sinek once said, or he's, you know, has a TED talk all about it, but people buy why you do not what you do. So mm -hmm. share that story, share that brand story and get it out there and buy Idaho. We'll do and so you could use hashtag buy Idaho. And then it pings Wyatt to let him know that he needs to share whatever story it is that you're doing. Uh, so hashtag by Idaho on all the different platforms, I'm sure, or tag by Idaho. Mm -hmm. And then yep. uh, he's usually pretty good about resharing things that I do when I tag stuff. So it's totally. very helpful. Yeah. To, unless it's the same photo 12 times. If it's a different <laughs> photo, I'll use it. There you go. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming by. And uh, for those of you listening, always, uh, we love it when we get reviews, the five R's, right? The reviews and <laughs> recommendations and shares and subscribes and all that good stuff because uh, it helps us. That's the true currency that you can give back to us is giving us a review and subscribing and sharing. Yeah, right? It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing except just a little bit of time to give us a nice review if you feel so inclined. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much. And until next time, enjoy the journey. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Expedition Podcast. Find more online at Peppershock.com. Wouldn't it be great if there was one place you can go to get all the latest information and tips about marketing and advertising? The Marketing Expedition community is that place. People like you gather in our online community to build relationships with others and find the latest marketing trends, tactics, tools, and technology. We help you build your brand and your bottom line. Start your adventure today. Visit themarketingexpedition.com to find out more.